Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Factorio C Block. This is episode number 30. 300. No, just 300, not 300. Today, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We've got seven science packs up and running. We've created a massive smelting area, a very large circuit area, and also a very large science area. And now we are up to 17,000 solar panels, which is a bit over a gigawatt worth of power. So hopefully that'll help until we can get some nuclear power running. So we got all that stuff. I've got some upgrades going. I've upgraded to power armor from the modular armor we've been using for a while. Got a portable fusion reactor now, so the robots can get powered better. My my store of energy, it's uh, diminishing because we're using a lot more robots, but it fills up way faster than it used to. And I upgraded to personal Robopart Mark IIs. So instead of running 20 robots, we're now running 125, and they are way faster than they used to be. I've got enough solar panels, I think, to do one more patch, and then we get to have some fun. Okay, let's lay this down. Staying right about there. Yeah, that's a little bit faster than it used to be. Takes about five seconds, or ten seconds, used to take about a minute. And now we've got grenade damage four. Why would we want that? We've got an 80% bonus to our grenade damage, and I've got 504 cluster grenades just sitting in my inventory. They do 35 damage, plus a bonus 28 from our uh, the research that I just finished. I think that's probably as far as we'll go with that for now, because it did start to get a little bit expensive. 600 of each of those just for uh, a little bit of fun. Maybe eventually we'll do that, but one thing at a time. So we've got a massive smelting area, and it is running on, well, a little bit on water, on the, uh, the, the seafloor mud, making nodules. But the other stuff it runs on is coal, carbon, coke, um, limestone, which is uh, not a big deal, sulfuric acid, and we also need some lubricant. And for all that stuff, we've got to lay down a silly amount of algae farms. All this area, basically, is going to be full of algae farms supplying all that stuff. Like the uh, the coal coming down here, getting used, turned into coal filter frames. Um, all the other stuff we've been using here is the the coke, the limestone. Here's where the carbon's going down to fuel the blast furnaces mostly. We need a lot of algae farms to supply all that stuff, and so we've got to make room. Let's see, am I? Guess let's drive down a little bit farther. We got to make room for that. So the old base that we've been using for a long time, it's gonna go. And uh, even though my robots are a bit faster than they used to be, it's going to take way too long to try to pick all this stuff up, sort it out, and filter it down to the main base. So instead, we're going to take a little bit of a shortcut, and we're going to blow the hell out of everything. And to make sure my robots don't freak out trying to repair stuff, we're going to take out the personal roboports. I haven't made any of the um, exoskeleton legs, which I would like to... What do they cost? 10 electronic boards? Well, uh, we'll get to that soon enough. Okay, let's get rid of that solar panel guy. So, uh, cluster grenades. How effective is this going to be to blow the smithereens out of our base? It says they do. About 60 damage. This thing, for instance, has 400 health. Okay, one. Two. Three. Did it blow? Oh, it's gone. Ah, okay. So, um, let's start again. One. Is it gone? Oh, okay. A direct hit. Killed that guy. Okay, so I think we will have enough grenades. I wasn't quite sure at first. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Goodbye, spaghetti. Goodbye, old base. Well, so much for that. A few hundred cluster grenades made quick work of the base. Now we're going to, I guess we'll go into the map screen 
We're going to do a gigantic deconstruction planner of the entire old base. We'll start here and just do a big rectangle. Not try to hit any of the solar panels. And we'll go like all the way down to there. And I guess the, the bombs don't destroy stuff that was on the belt. So I am going to have to go around and pick up some stuff. So after doing that big rectangle, I'm going to do another one holding shift to uh, tell my robots not to pick any of this stuff up. And to get rid, there we go. Okay, this is what's left. <laughs> Man, that was satisfying. Oh, that was so much fun. And we do have one little last matter to take care of. Long time ago, when we first started, we preserved these worms. And we were going to turn them into a bit of a fish tank. The only problem is they are in the way. We need all this space to provide the back end for our smelting setup. And after we're done with that, I'm really never coming back here except to, like, upgrade belts and stuff like that and add speed modules so this is not really a good location for a, um, a fish tank hey 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 buddies hey small worms remember when i said i would kill you last i lied yes <laughs> get wrecked worms So, everything's been blown up, cleaned up, picked up, and all the scraps we picked up, all that got blown up, and then I put landfill in everywhere, and we've got a lovely grid of substations, which aren't connecting because they're still Mark IIs. We will get to the Mark III soon enough, but first we have to make sure our base actually works. So we're going to start in the middle, and then move to the left and the right, providing the things we need for our metal area. I think we have enough room, but if we don't, we'll just expand outward with more uh, landfill. In the middle, first thing we'll do is provide the coolant for that. We need this uh, this process right here in this advanced chemical plant. We want the uh, the mineral oil. We're going to be getting rid of the naphtha and the um, natural gas liquids because we don't really need them here. We might... No, we're just going to get rid of them. It's not worth it. Uh, we are going to have some coke and all of our... All of our carbon and coke is going to come from these byproducts from this and also from the sulfuric acid. And so we only need room really for this amount of machines. Everything else is going to be the basic uh, basic coal layout, which I've made a little bit more compact to make sure we have a bit more room. So actually, let's uh, temporarily, let's get rid of that. We're going to place it down kind of right, uh, right here. Maybe, actually, let's give a little bit of room. So let's actually back up to about there. And use that little gap right there. I think that's probably enough space, right? And let's see how much faster our robots are placing this stuff. Yeah, a little bit faster, and they're done. Okay, this maybe won't be so painful. We need about six of these for this particular thing. Um, let's see, I think we're going to get... This is supplying power to the entire base right now, so I just... I cut off power to the entire base. I'll put it back in a second. We want these guys. Are the belts going the right way? Yes, they are. We want them to be one space apart. And then we can reconnect the power like that. Connect the belt. That's two. So we've got 20 algae farms. Then we will do a third. Mm, we want them to be one space apart. So like that. Okay, we will provide a underground belt. Like that. There we go, and then replace the substations, rinse and repeat, that's one, two, three. Yeah, this is, this is actually not going to be so bad with our newly upgraded robots. So much nicer to have them be speedy and speedy. So that's the coolant taken care of. We got all these guys set up. We don't have anywhere to put the coke yet because we're going to have coke from another source as well. We're going to combine them. So we're not going to do anything with it just yet until we have that other guy set up, which is providing the sulfuric acid. We'll need to provide ore to these guys eventually. We're going to make that uh, happen with a logistics network. We're burning off the other stuff. We're storing up the thing. Blah, blah, blah. Yakety smackety. All right, next let's do limestone because that's not going to take up too much space compared to the other ones. The limestone, and we're going to have to upgrade this yellow belt to a red belt. We only need it on the left. So we're basically, we're going to take like this blueprint and we're going to multiply it by about two. Um, let's see, what carbon is coming down here? So we need the things to kind of be out of the way of that belt. 
If I have one of these things, can a red belt go over top of that? Yeah, okay. Whoops, okay, that's not a deconstruct planner. Okay, so that's kind of important detail to keep in mind, and we can move the, uh, the pumps there out of the way. So I think we'll do something like... All right, and just like that, we've got limestone restored. I'm gonna have to go through and upgrade that belt to uh, to red to make sure it works all the way through. But one thing at a time, seems like they're all working. I can uh, sort of test it out and look for errors later. Next, we've got a hell of a lot of algae farms to place. All right, well, the coolant and the limestone is all taken care of. Those guys are kind of easy. Now we've got to lay a really absurd amount of algae farms down to take care of sulfuric acid and uh, the coal, which we need for the filter frames getting filtered uh, in this process here. We've been doing forever. We need a lot of both of those. And so I'm trying to be able to fit everything in here we need. So I've got a slightly different recipe than we had before. Uh, this this part is the same, the actual algae farms, but the guy supplying mineralized water in order to make things squeeze together. In this gap, I, uh, I spread them apart a little bit more, just a slight variation on the way it used to look, just spread out so that um, we could have both of these guys in this space. Otherwise, we would have had to, just based on the, the width of the substations, we would have had to squeeze things, uh, spread things out so far. It would have been really silly. Okay, but let's see, how close can we get these? We can fix the belt over there. The robots are so much faster now, um, this really won't be that big of a deal. Now that I've got the blueprints figured out, go through and fix things like that. There we go, and then we'll check to make sure it uh, everything is working later. Okay, so little status update. I've put almost half of the algae farms we need. We need about 400 and I've put, uh, well, we need 400 per side. There's 300 here. We're gonna need 400 on this side. We're gonna have to expand just a little bit. But the problem is that, uh, well, I've run out of machines. We need, ma we need iron and steel to make all these machines and we're not producing it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the stuff that I've made so far back on. And just from that, our our processes should be much faster. Okay, robots decided there was stuff over here missing. Anything else missing, robots? What are you saying that's missing? Oh, liquefiers. Yeah, so uh, we need more iron and steel to make liquefiers. We're also running low on uh, steel pipes, which is required for, guess what? A lot of machines. We're going to start turning these guys on. And uh, then we'll do like a simple, quick and dirty coal setup or carbon setup from the coal. We're getting coke already. We'll have coal, carbon, coke, and limestone, and then I'll just have to do a few trips every now and then to supply some sulfuric acid barrels until we get the whole thing built. I need another 500 algae farms, which is a little bit silly, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, I guess. All right, we are halfway there. We've got a big chunk of algae farms here on the left and we're going to duplicate it on the right. I've got most of the stuff already uh, pre-created. So we're going to need a big blueprint. We're going to zoom in like this and we're just going to copy paste it over to the left side with our robots. We're going to keep the substations in the blueprint. Does that encompass everything? It does. Keep the substations in the blueprint so that uh, it's easier to line up. We don't need these belts in the bottom because we're going to reconfigure that just a little bit. Anything else down here need to get done? We just need these pipes. And then it'll also tell us exactly how much stuff we need. Uh, I know we need 400 uh, algae farms. Besides that, I didn't bother counting. Wow, that's a big blueprint. Ooh, doogie. Okay. How do I go about placing... <laughs> I guess we should... Oh, gosh. I didn't think about this part. Um... I've never played. I don't know if I've ever placed a blueprint this big. I guess we place it from the map screen. How am I supposed to line it up? Uh, hmm. I can't. <laughs> I can't see. Do we have to be kind of in the middle? Okay. Uh, let's let's walk into the middle, 
and then try to place this gigantic blueprint. See if I can get it to line up. So we'll know it's lined up when the only thing that is red are the pumps. Uh, actually, let's look in the map screen first. We need to go over to the right. We need to be in the middle of this zone of blue. Uh, so about right there. We need to go up one and over two. This should be about the middle right here. We're currently researching night vision equipment. So um, there's actually three tiers of night vision. We're going to compare what makes them different. Uh, yeah, I think this is the middle. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, okay, so this is the middle. Okay. Find the, oh gosh. Is that it? No, okay, so that's clearly not it because I lined up one of the um, the substations. The algae farms are still green. Uh, so I remember, one thing I do remember is that the the... The substations we're keeping, the ones that will become Mark 3s, are on the same line. There we go. Oh, I think I did it. All right, so last thing to add are all the algae farms, which I've now produced. We can kickstart this thing with some coal because I rebuilt the belts a little bit. Uh, we're going to be splitting half of these guys over for coal for filter frames for our mineral sludge. And the other half is going to go directly to sulfuric acid. We're going to be producing like 500 sulfuric acid a second to run all of our... Is it the flotation cells or is it the one after that? I can't remember the name of them. Um, it's not these ones, it's these. Yeah, the, uh, the leaching plants need a lot of sulfuric acid. And some of our other processes like uh, copper plate needs sulfuric acid. We need a lot of sulfuric acid, so we're gonna produce a whole lot of it. And let's see, yeah, we're gonna be splitting them in half. We've got 400 on either side. We've got four of these belts, huh? I guess I'm gonna run up, down, up, down. And just confirm that everything is plugged in, that I didn't miss anything. All right, all placed. Coal is starting to be produced. We now, oh, that's not actually hooked up to the network. Let's click on one of these. Uh, we've got 1,600 algae farms! Hooray! Sweet! So, uh, half of these guys, aside from the ones in the middle, which were taking care of the coolant, we've got 400 here in this big square. And 400 over here, half of these guys, so like 400 total, is going to run the filter frames. Uh, so what I've done is I've gathered them all into one point, because we've got a little bit over one red belt being produced in total, once we're actually using them Full speed, that will be more evident. Right now they're just backing up because we're not using them as much. So gathering that to a point and then we're splitting it in half. Half of it is going down here to these guys. Then the other half is going to get gathered together to make a whole crap load of hydrogen sulfide gas. So to accommodate all these machines we need, I decided to back up the coolant guy because we did have some extra space back here. So I just pushed him back. So now we've got a flush line here. Although now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing I didn't add the little cap for the, um, so that the this guy could receive some lovely carbon dioxide. I have to remember to go do that. Little mistakes everywhere. So we've got all these machines plus a whole bunch of air filters I haven't put down. And I think what we're going to do is kind of split them left to right just to try to uh, make things more symmetrical and make more use of the space with less belts. Uh, I think that's going to be fine because we are getting half of our coal from the right and half from the left. We don't need filter frames for this guy. That's pretty cool. And we're going to be straight up just deleting the benzene and methane from this guy because we don't need it way up here. Maybe way down the line we will have a gigantic robo uh, network and we'll just like fly those barrels all the way down there, but uh, unlikely. So I've fudged the numbers a little bit. I've increased the numbers of machines we need so that the layouts work out and so that we can split things in half. So for instance, um, I think we've got 14 of these guys here. Yeah, 14, okay. So we want to take seven of them. That's seven, right? And the pipe is on the, yeah, okay. So seven plus some uh, stone pipe to grounds. And we'll put seven on the right, and then seven on the left. And obviously, I will make the blue, the uh, not the blueprint, but the um, the layout a little bit more streamlined than that. But this is just to get things rolling. 
And those guys are going to be outputting uh, just the hydrogen sulfide. So we actually only need a little bit more than four. But I'm going to up it to six so that um, the layouts work. Half and half on either side. Can I get rid of this thing? Yep. Uh, okay, so blueprint, we'll just do half here. Like that. Okay, and delete that. And then, so that's going to be uh, creating the sulfur. Then we've got to take the sulfur and add some oxygen to it and create some sulfur dioxide gas. And what I think we ought to do, I, how many do we have here? Let's delete that other blueprint and let's count. Uh, we have 14 of these guys, but uh, I would like to go directly from machine to machine input for, with these guys going from the, uh, the sulfur. I don't want to put sulfur on a belt, basically. So I would like to do something like, um, kind of like that. And then do like that. Um, we'll have room for the pipes for the oxygen, and then we will just stretch out some of these guys. Tell them go long, go long, like that, and they can directly insert. So we basically need, we need three to one. So instead of having, and I've already lost count. This is why I lay things out so I don't have to remember these details. Uh, we got 14 there, so instead of 14, we're going to have this times 3, so 9 on either side. 18 instead of 14. It's just going to, the layout's going to work out a little bit nicer. All right, I believe we are done. As far as I can tell, I finished all the layout stuff. We've got a few belts going from our 800 new algae farms to our massive smelting area. Let's see if it works like I think it's going to work. We sort of have uh, we've two sides to hook up here. So it's going to start here with the coal coming in. We're going to turn coal into carbon dioxide, which will get turned into uh, carbon. Once we get some coke going through, there we go. Already we've got carbon. That's going to go down and power blast furnaces and a few other odds and ends. We've got, uh, this is the process, cracking our coal. That is really loud. Into coke, hydrogen sulfide gas, benzene gas, and methane gas. For now, we're just going to burn off those two other gases. We're taking that uh, hydrogen sulfide. It's getting turned into sulfur with the aid of some oxygen. Got a lot of these air filters here. Okay, so that's a look at all of that coke. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of leftover coke. Like a stupid amount of it. And we could uh, we could turn that into carbon monoxide, I think, is the way to get rid of it. Uh, to, to void it out, which uh, we may end up doing. For now, I'm just going to store it because I want to get the rest of the base back up and running and get back to some lovely research. Okay, so this side is obviously working. Yeah, so look at that throughput. That's only half of our throughput. And it's going crazy already. Okay, running over here, we'll hook up this belt and we'll uh, make sure that everything is working properly on this side. Okay, there's the coal. Carbon dioxide, coke and hydrogen sulfide gas. Coke on the output, hydrogen sulfide on the output. We've got oxygen in the pipes. It's getting used up now, but uh, easily replenished. We're burning off nitrogen. We've got carbon going off this way. Let's just make sure I hooked up the, the belts in the proper order. This is a little bit awkward here. I think I may end up just moving the limestone now that everything else is built and I can sort of see um, where we have space for this. At the time when I first made this, I wasn't sure what we would need room for, so I just sort of crammed it in as tight as possible. Uh, but now it's causing all these ugly kinks in our belts, so we'll probably fix that eventually. Uh, okay, did I somehow mess up? Oh, no, okay. I was thinking, are the belts the wrong direction and I didn't line them up properly? No, it's just backed up and it's only going to one side of the belt at the moment. I see, okay, so that's fine. That's going good over there. Let's just trace the belts getting split here, going down this side. All of our stuff should be uh, producing again by now, probably. Yes, yeah, so that's going down there. We've got some return barrels going. Our carbon line is backed up. Our coal line is backed up. So we should very soon be getting some output here. We've got coolant. I guess it just has to work its way down through these machines because these machines, they output a lot, but they're fairly slow. These ones are operating. What are these guys? Oh, they're waiting on... Uh, okay, so this guy right now is, is sucking up all the sulfuric acid. That's what's happening. So it'll take a while to filter through the system 
to get everything up and running, but I think we're good to go. I think we can get back to some science. I'll wait for the uh, the metals to get back going. Yes! Each one of these barrels is 250 sulfuric acid. And we've got two of these suckers running. That is a nice, nice and pleasant sight, isn't it? Ah, it's very good. Okay. Um, so, are have they started up yet? This guy did. Should have. Oh, this one has. Uh, it hasn't filtered down to this guy yet. Not yet. I guess it's going to take a while because these pipes are going to basically fill up and then they should... There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Little sulfuric acid guy. 250 sulfuric acid on the pipe. On the belt. Through the pipe. From a barrel. Gonna get unbarreled. Uh-huh. Bam. Okay. So now these guys will start up. It'll filter on down. Eventually it'll back up. We can get back to science. Anyway, hey, that's gonna be it for this episode. Look what we did. We cleared out the entire... Man, that was a lot of work. I probably should have made this into two episodes, but like a... Imbecile, I made it one episode. We completely replaced the old base. We've got uh, 860, 860 new algae farms. Next time, we're going to start advancing our module tiers and start speeding up stuff and getting productivity bonuses to make our research go a little bit faster. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.